Aloha and happy summer. My name is Tao. And I'm Heather, and we're wrapping up our week with some outdoor adventure in this video of our Paul Hana Friday series. Right, so Heather and I will be hanging out, talking stories, and sharing activities with all of you at home each week so that we can celebrate summer and share our island home with you. We're gonna have so much fun today and we're taking all of you with us to Kualoa Ranch along with our friend, Chef Del Valdez. Yes, I'm so excited. But before we jump into the activity, we're at Chef Del's restaurant, Vein at Kaka'ako, ready to make some bentos. Hello, Chef, what's up? Aloha. Aloha, guys. Thank you guys for having me. I'm really excited for today and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, let's do it. There's something special and nostalgic about preparing bentos and eating bentos. It brings me back to my childhood. The art of making bentos, especially with family members, you know, super, yes. super nostalgic, you know. Yes, I remember going on field trips. And oh. it was special because we're going on a field trip for school and my mom would always get up real early and make me a bento lunch, a special bento, aside from my regular bento. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I totally agree with you. And like, Sometimes even like th that would be the highlight of the field trip, right? Yeah. Looking forward at yeah. what's in your bento, yeah. right? Especially here in Hawaii, we have, there's definitely many ways to make a bento and definitely a lot of things you can put into a bento. So we're very excited to see what you have in store for us. Yeah, I got two bentos uh, ready to go for today. Uh, one uh, more traditional with proteins and the other one is for our friends who are vegan or vegetarian. Oh, I think that's a perfect way to showcase to everyone at home that, you know, there's many ways we can make a bento. Oh, there's a million, million ways. Vegetarian, yeah. Exactly, right. exactly. So for today's bentos, the uh, first one, we're going to do a nice uh, soy ginger chicken grilled. Mm -hmm. yeah. Second would be Pacific salmon, furikake, katsu. Oh, you can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and the third is going to be my take on a damashi, uh, dashi tamago roll, mm -hmm. but we're going to make it into a frittata instead. Oh. So, uh, musubi, fresh tukimono, and a nice little cabbage salad. For the vegetarians, we're gonna do a uh, meatless or a vegetarian hamburger steak. Mm -hmm. The second will be a take on eggplant parmesan. Mm -hmm. And the last will be a vegetarian, I guess, vegan mm. yakisoba. Okay. Okay. Cool. I mean, just well. the, the flavors all in both bentos seem like an orchestra. And you don't have to be vegan or vegetarian to enjoy that second bento. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Not at all. <laughs> Not delicious. at all. All, all in the all. flavors. All in the flavors. Well, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. We're going to go ahead and proceed and fry up our Pacific furikake katsu salmon. Ooh. So again, even though there is furikake on here, yeah. I feel that you need a little bit more seasoning. Okay. okay. Just, just, just a tad. So Not as much as mix. I would do for those yeah. two, yeah. you know? Got the elevation. You're correct. Yes, the high seasoning. <laughs> Good eye, Tom. Good eye. Good eye. Not to so, be confused with over seasoning. Right, Hi. right, right, right. <laughs> so what's in the breading for the Breading salmon? is just a uh, flour, egg, panko, and furikake. Oh, I love the panko for the extra crisp. Yeah, totally. Yes. Texture also. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start off with the yakisoba, guys. So again, I have some spaghetti here from my other restaurant, Mio Pastology. Uh, I have some cut onions, cabbage, carrots. I have here some sesame oil, sake, and shoyu. A Looks like bit equal of parts. Right? Equal I, parts, yes. Yeah, definitely equal parts. But the cooking should be up to the person, like yeah, how much would you care for, it, right? So now I have two cloves of garlic, and I'm just going to go ahead and slice it up, add, add, add a little bit more flavor. You know? I can never go that fast, I have no fingers. That's amazing. <laughs> so now I get a hot pan, not somewhat smoking, but hot enough. So I'm going to go ahead and knead in with these uh, vegetables and the onion, carrots. Right. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add the garlic. The reason why I add the garlic now is because it's so thin. If I were to add it now, Travesty, right? There goes your bento. So I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds to a minute. And so I know that you had mentioned we have carrots, cabbage, and um, other vegetables. Is it? Is there a specific uh, vegetables that you like to use, or is it you can use any vegetable? Need to be honest. Going back to the whole bento being you in a box. Oh, that's yes. That's you. You know, yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. Yes, whatever your taste buds whatever desire. Whatever the parts desire, go ahead. I mean, the only thing, or the main thing that you need to add is, of course, the noodles, right? So we're going to go ahead and add 
the spaghetti. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and season lightly because you're gonna add sake soy at the end. So now I'm just gonna take it away from the heat as you should always when introducing alcohol. So we're gonna burn that off. Right. Toss a little bit more. Now, I do not like to add my soy on top of the product. I like to add it around the edges. It adds a different type of aromatic. So you're not only getting flavor, but you're also getting this like toasted soy. You smell that, right? Yeah. And then after we got done tossing that, we turn it off, finish it off with a little bit of sesame oil for more aromatic. And we're done. Okay, so we're ready to pack our bentos, right? Yeah. <laughs> this brings me back to childhood, just seeing all the different compartments and just really excited to see what was in my bento. I mean, uh, for sure, like in Hawaii, we have our own, what do I, um, how do I say it? Like our own definition of bento, right? Plate lunch, um, plate lunch. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, because from the Japanese origins in Hawaii, we have so much influence here and it's just part of our everyday vernacular is bento, whether it's sometimes not compartmentalized and sometimes just a bed of rice with correct, whatever. Correct. But today we are have, with extra fun because we are going to be separating all of our foods and packing our bento. For sure, so. With that being said, what are you going to put in our okay. bento for today? Yeah. So, as I was saying, so we're going to start off with the vegetarian, okay? Yeah. So, here I have already made some musubi with some furikake, a little bit of touch of salt. It's very iconic. Oh, for, for what you yes. Exactly. So, we're going to use some, uh, some spinach here uh -huh. as a bed to catch whatever flavors, all the, juices. That come, all the juices that come out which entails makes the spinach even more edible. Right, right, yes. right. It's like a dressing, yeah. For sure. So I'm gonna plate. Oh, they're so oh, cute. They're so cute, they're like little sliders. Little sliders, yeah. It looks like real meat patties, yeah. but this is all vegetarian, it's amazing. It's great so this is our eggplant and gaku. Okay. So we have our eggplant, we cut it in half, yeah. and then we cross hatch it. Yeah. Cross hatching allows it to cook faster. Mm -hmm and also let the seasoning soak in, yeah. right? We'll glaze it over with a little bit of white miso, throw it back in the oven, mm -hmm. get a nice little char on that. So once it comes out, right? So just a little take on the Parmigiano plate. I'll just take some breadcrumbs. Okay. It's just, it's just panko or breadcrumbs and then I'll just add, I'll just chop up some parsley in there and then I'll take a torch. You can actually just throw it back in the oven on your broiler setting, finish it off to add again, texture. Yeah. Nice little crust. Yes. Correct. So get that. Oh. We're gonna put it on. I'm turning vegetarian I just for today. <laughs> <laughs> then we will take our yakisoba yes. that we had already made and take a little bit of that. This is like such a filling lunch. Oh my can I cannot wait. Make sure you got some of the veggies. Yes. Help it go down. I feel like every bento should have a sukimon or a pickled vegetable. What we have here is um, shokombu or salted kelp, cabbage, and thin slices of carrots. What we do is just throw some salt, let that thing break down the cabbage, rinse it off. We add a little bit of sesame oil, mirin, and that's pretty much it. So how long do you let the vegetables like marinate in what you just described with the? I would say like an hour or so. Oh wow, and some, okay. Yeah, an hour or two, okay. that's enough. Uh, you, this is very bread. common to see in any store-bought bento, is yeah. a little bit of sukimono. Right. And I always wish there's a little more though. <laughs> I feel <laughs> that the, the vinegar and the sukimono helps break down your yeah. food also. It's like, like, you know, like, yeah. like a probiotic, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Now we're going to move on to, of course you have sukimono. Being in Hawaii, we need salad also, right? Yeah, right? So I just have here a little bit of thinly sliced cabbage, some parsley, carrots, that's it. I usually do not like to dress my um, salads. Reason being is because of bento. It'll right. probably get soggy right. by the time we right. get to our destination. Right. So I'm gonna just top it off. And here I have a little bit of um, soy balsamic dressing. 
It's an equal amount of soy and balsamic, a little bit of touch of extra virgin olive oil. So I'm just going to neatly place that there. Right. It looks like a full course meal in one. I love that. You got your salad, you got your veggies, you got your carbs, you got your protein. This is amazing. I can't wait. So we're going to take our chicken. I'm just going to give it a quick slice through. So we're going to go ahead and lay down some chicken. We're going to take our furikake salmon. Ooh. Place oh, yeah. one down there. Oh, that's like crispy. Crunchy. Yeah. I like to have a little tamago uh, dashi. Mm -hmm. So I did a play on the same thing, but I changed it into a frittata or a, almost like an egg souffle. Okay. Yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all it is wow. is just eggs, a little bit of cream, some scallion, and some ali'i mushroom in here. Wow. Yes. Go ahead and take, take that, that out. out. Oh my gosh, we do have a lot of good proteins here. Yeah. Mm. That's wow. Okay, this looks great. Is this something we can find here at Bain? Not particularly so. Vein is more of my casual fine dining restaurant, but you can definitely find something similar to this at my other restaurant, Dell's Kitchen and Bakery. So where is Dell's Kitchen located? Dell's Kitchen and Bakery is located in the corner of Young and Macaulay Street. Yeah. And at Dell's Kitchen and Bakery, we took the concept of the bento and decided to do a more traditional Hawaiian-style plate lunch. Love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, I love that there's a bakery attached to it too. So yes. you can make a dessert also. Right. Yes, you can. Seriously. One, One stop, stop shop, shop for okay. everything. Love that. Okay, well, let's close up these bentos and head awesome. out to Kualoa Ranch. I can't wait. Shoot, sounds good. Let's go, guys. <laughs>Super beautiful. So, uh, Daryl, can you tell me about this or what this whole place? So, the ranch, we actually are made up of three different aupas. Uh, so, behind me, we got Hakipu. Uh, to my right, right over the Kolo mountain here, that's Kolo Valley. And then this beautiful one right here, easily our biggest one, about 2,200 acres. Wow. Uh, we actually got this one back in 1860 for $4,000. Four thousand. Oh Four thousand dollars. This whole <laughs> wow. This whole this wow. whole valley right which, here. Which back then of I'm course sure back was. then would have been, yeah. A lot more money. But actually back in the ancient Hawaiian days, this actually used to be the training grounds for a lot of the young Ali that mm -hmm. were ready oh, to make that next step. Makes sense. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you. That was so much fun. Thank you. you. We learned Super a lot. Fun. Right I mean, this, this is such a beautiful place and to learn so much more of the history. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Daryl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My pleasure. Well, are you guys ready to eat? We're going to dig into the bentos. I hope. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. The time has arrived. Yes. So exciting. I, yeah, I cannot wait to get, dig into this. This is the perfect way to end such a great day. It agreed, is. Agreed, agreed. Yeah. Beautiful right? bento, oh, bento and oh. Mahalo chef for spending time with us on this wonderful day. We got to go ahead and learn how to make an amazing bento. Sure, my pleasure. Which is out of the world, by the way. <laughs> and we got to go ahead and just enjoy the beauty of our islands in Karakulo Ranch. For those of you at home, hopefully you guys took notes because these are amazing. Amazing bentos to make and an amazing place to see as well. If you decide to book a tour with Kualoa Ranch, we've posted the link below. Also, if you do make some bentos and take it on your outdoor adventure this summer, go ahead and upload a photo and tag us at Hawaiian Airlines or hashtag Paul Hana with Hawaiian Airlines. Until then, aloha and ahui ho. Aloha, you guys. Aloha.